I'm going to talk about motion capture and uh, this is something that I've been playing around with for a while and I have here the Rococo motion capture suit smart suit pro the first version they are releasing a new version and the Rococo smart gloves and here I have the accents with the Monus gloves so I want to talk about these a little bit because I've been receiving messages from people uh, getting into mocap and, and want to try these things out. And they ask me, you know, what's the difference between Rococo and Xsense? And, you know, is it worth the money and so on? So I want to talk about it. So first of all, the Rococo suit uh, goes for about two and a half thousand dollars or something to euros at least um and uh so this as i said this is the first version they are coming with a new version this one does not have level support so you can't like walk in stairs or anything your feet are basically bound to the ground their their new suit will have like multi-level support so you can you know jump up onto things or walk in stairs and things the results that i've seen because the biggest issue i've been having with the rococo suit is that the movements are always a little bit jerky and there's nothing wrong with the sensors in the suit it's there it's the rococo's reprocessing that isn't as advanced as Xsense. so rococo relies seem to rely more on raw data which means that and the raw data is never perfect so there's a little bit of jerky movements and you know you don't get that smooth realistic movements and also the feet are kind of drifting quite a lot rococo has a rococo studio it's the software where you can go in and adjust the feet sliding and lock the feet to the floor and you can like assign in a timeline when the feet is supposed to be standing on the ground and then you, it, it reprocesses the whole motion capture so that it fits your changes um, and you can get this looking really good most of the times sometimes it can't sometimes i've been having severe issues with this suit which just you know i couldn't solve it because i don't know the, the body was just flying around like that but most of the times i've been getting pretty good results one problem another problem with the rococo suit is the magnetic interference because the accents their selling point is that it has magnetic immunity which those doesn't so if you are close to anything magnetic like these or that shelf over there or these things like metal stuff on the ceiling or i've also noticed that if you have like iron armor going in the concrete floor that might interfere as well with the feet so in this studio i haven't been able to use this suit uh successfully i had a lot of issues it kind of works but it, i have a lot of issues the only time I've been able to have, you know, the best possible results with a suit was when capturing outside. As you see, this is a full body suit with the sensors built in. Now I have some cables here for the gloves, but these cables are not standard. Uh, but you have all the sensors built in, so I can, I can't show them. Yeah, well, actually I can, but there's a zipper here and you have the sensors built in. The good thing with that is that it's easy to get going you just pull the suit on and you're ready to go it's take it's super fast the downside with it is that only you and people with a similar body shape as you will be able to use it so for example i want martin to help me out with a motion capture because i can't do everything my, myself because i have a certain style a certain way of walking and i need variation so i need other people to do the motion capture too so i can get very varied motion patterns if that makes sense and i can't do that with this because martin is a head taller than me he's like i don't know two meters long almost he can't use this suit so only i've been able to use this suit so that's a there's pros and cons with these suits now the accents on the other hand this is the accents avinda starter uh, the difference between they have three different models they have the accents a window starter this is the cheapest one with sensors like these that you just you you there this is velcro so you just put them on straps and then you put the straps you know around your legs and stuff so anyone can use these because these are not like they're not bound to a suit or a certain size then they have the accents a window which is 
the little bit more expensive version, you have the exact same sensors, but the receiver is different. So you have a longer range with the Exxon's window. And then they have the Exxon's Link, which is basically the same thing as the Rococo. The Exxon's Link is the most expensive one. It's the same uh, logic where you have a full motion capture or a full suit, so it will only fit you. So you have this, the same pros and cons as the Rococo suit. Now Exxon's has magnetic immunity so i can walk around freely in here everywhere close to the to the shelves and i can jump with my hands up to you know the ceiling and without having any problems at all so in this case the raw data with xsense is a lot better than rococo because the ma magnetic immunity so you can see i have my sensors on these straps i just pull these open and put them on my arms and legs and i'm ready to go take a little bit longer time to set this up so that's the, the the upside, anyone can use it. The downside takes a long time to prepare. This one, upside, super fast to prepare, but not anyone can use it. Then we have the gloves. So here are the smart gloves. This is the Rococo gloves. So these are really nice. You pull the cable in there, and then you have the cable running alongside your suit. You can put it inside the suit as well if you want to. Uh, and you have these sensors on the fingers. But these sensors, as far as I know, are accelerometer sensors. I'm not really sure, but I've noticed that the accuracy of these fingers aren't perfect. Because you, you uh, I don't know, um, it works pretty well. It does. But it, it doesn't give, you know, the r perfectly realistic results. They're well worth the money. They're way better than nothing. These are great but they are not as great as I would have wanted them to be. So they are, I think, about $1,000 or 1500 not really sure. They're not super cheap, but they're cheaper than Exxon's alternative. So Exxon's have their Monus gloves. So these are not actually made by Exxon's. They're made by Monus. It's a, it's a collaboration they have. So you can see these gloves look a little bit different. Uh, you have a puck here, but you don't need a battery to cover uh, to, to, to run them because they have a built-in battery. They work a little bit different compared to the Rococo gloves because the Rococo gloves they have this sensor here but there's only one sensor and I think this is uh, like accelerometer based these aren't there is an IMU so there is an accelerometer and gyro in this puck here so to, to sense the you know general hand movements like these but the finger movements are not measured that way so you have a little strip in here that can sense the bending so whenever you bend this strip that sends some bending data to uh, to the software so this should, in theory at least, be way more accurate than the Rococo gloves. And the demos I've seen with these look amazing. My problem currently, I can't demo this because I've been having issues calibrating these gloves. I don't know if it's a software issue. I'm, I am, I'm currently getting help from Manus about this, so they're super helpful. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why I can't get this to work. Um, but once I do, I'll, I'll show you some nice results with it. So to those who ask... Should I buy a Rococo? Should I buy an Ixens? Well, I would say like this. The Rococo with the gloves. First of all, I wouldn't get a mocap suit without gloves because, you know, you need the hands to be able to convey some kind of realism and, and you know, a human touch to it. No pun intended. So the suit and the gloves is about $4,000 in total. The Rococo Studio is free to use, so you can... If you spend these $4,000, you don't have to spend a dime more and you can use it. However, I wasn't pleased with the result with these. I It just wasn't good enough for my taste. And I know that the mocap suit will not get you all the way. That's just how it is. It will not get you all the way. You will have to do some cleaning in either Maya or Blender or Motion Builder, which I use. But... I thought it was too much cleaning and I had issues with the Rococo suit that I just couldn't clean up like the if i have like jittering in, in a hand or arm that's pretty easy to clean up but if you have jittering in the whole upper body that is really hard to clean up i found because that jittering there are so many different points in an fkik rig that uh, can cause these issues and you had to clean more joints than one to get that working and once you start cleaning the back for example or you know the upper body jerkiness then you start affecting the arms as well because they're obviously attached to the upper body. So that caused a lot of problem for me. I've been getting some really good results with this suit. I've been seeing people online getting really good results with this suit. I'm not complaining about it. 
Uh, it's just that it's very limiting in the way that I can't use it close to magnetic things. And it was just a little bit too much cleanup for my taste. So comparing that to the Accents, this is the Avinda Starter. It's a cheaper alternative. Uh, you have a, a, a range of about 20 meters from the computer. So 40 meters in total in both directions. This is about $4,000. And the gloves, another $4,000. This is about eight actually closer to $9,000 in total. So this is a little bit more than double the price of the Rococo. Adding to that, you either have to buy a subscription of their software, which is $9,000 a year for that subscription. But if you don't want to have that, you can use their Motion Cloud. So that's $250 a month. So it's still a pretty, pretty expensive subscription because if I want to do the HD processing of this suit, I have to, with a Motion Cloud, I have to record here in my computer, and I have to send the data to the Motion Cloud, so to their online service, I am bound to be having a, an, an online connection. And then the processing is made on their cloud, and then from there, I can export the FBX. So I cannot export any files locally from the software. That's the drawback. And I think Accents, they are, their price point here is just, sorry for the expression, but it's fucked up. $250 a month, and you can't even export the files locally on your computer. And you can't use it without having an internet connection. But the quality of their HD processing is so good that I find it worth these money. It stings. It hurts my wallet every month paying these $250. Especially if I'm not actually using it much that month. But the results I'm getting from these are light years better than the Rococo. And that's not necessarily because the sensors are better, but because Exxon's HD processing is so damn good that I hardly have to do any cleanup at all. Like, I, I'm, I, uh, here's a demo I can show you where you can see the feet are, you know, they're following the ground perfectly. And this, is clean, this isn't cleaned up. This is basically the raw data that I got from uh, Exxon's. I was never able to get this good data out of Rococo. So, yes, it's more expensive. It will it will drain, drain your account every month. This Exxon suit is not for everyone because you, you really have to be either in production and making money or you have to be a real hardcore enthusiast like I am if you want to find it worth spending that money. So here's a couple of examples in the Rococo and the issues I've been having. So, first of all, this is my wife doing yoga. And uh, it acted fairly well here but it's for example here i know for a fact that she didn't have her leg bent like this uh so this is an issue that i've been having a lot with rococo is like the the actual bending has been a bit weird sometimes but that's not the big issue that's easy to fix in, in post-processing but you can see the lines here are basically if i turn on the gizmos you can see these here are telling the software where or uh, sorry when a foot is uh, standing firmly on the ground so this when there's green ones here for example the green bars are telling Rococo that the left foot is standing solid on the ground however even though this is perfectly set up accurately or pretty accurately you can see that as soon as he lifts she lifts um, the leg up like that back you can see what happens. She just flies away. And then, for some reason, she bounces it down, doop, there. And this is something that I have been unable to fix because all I can do is to lock the foot to the ground. So it is locked to the ground. So Rokoka should know that this foot is not leaving the ground, but still it just starts to fly away. These issues I've been having quite a lot with the Rokoka. I hope that the new Rococo SmartShoe Pro 2 will fix those issues. I don't know. But what I've seen with the demo videos, the jerky movements, like on the upper body, are still in the new Rococo suit as well. So honestly, me personally wouldn't buy it, but that's because, you know, I don't want to do all that cleanup. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at when I'm walking here, you can see that the head, for example, is is not moving like in a smooth movement like that, which it actually does when I'm walking, but instead it will like, eh, 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 like that. 
don't know if you can see it. I don't have a screen recording software on this computer, so I can't really, I have to just film the monitor. But you can see there is, it is a little jerky. Also here, like this movement here, which is like in. So there's a little robotic movements to these. Also, it's obvious when I start walking, like here there's a, a, a lot of acceleration there. And you know, you can see how the head and the upper body accelerates, but then it doesn't anymore. You see that? There's a, like a twitch, like eh? Which is, yeah, and also you can see these issues I've also been having a lot. There is a knee pop smoothing filter, but you can still see how the legs like here, they're like popping back and forth, even though I have the filter. So this movement here is not realistic at all. So these things I found are really hard to clean up, especially for me. I'm just a hobbyist. I'm not like a professional mocap cleaner. So I don't want to have to deal with these issues. And I found no way whatsoever to get rid of those issues, except from with the uh, uh, Exxon suit, because in the Exxon suit, I get perfect results. So here's the uh, Exxon, their Exxon's uh, recording software. And this is Martin recording this with my Exxon suit. And as you can see here, when he's walking, I don't know if you can see the difference, but it is so much smoother than Rococo. And the movements are way more realistic. And there's a lot of small treats in the way that he moves that is captured by this suit. But, you know, in Rococo, it, it's like there's a, there's a jerkiness to it that kind of hides all these small details of your personality and your movements but in excess all that comes through and i mean this mocap it doesn't require any cleaning at all this is perfect just out of the box also here's something that you couldn't do really with the with the rococo sitting on a chair like this where your your hips are actually static in the air as it is when you're sitting, but the feet are moving. You can't do that with the Rococo Smart Suit Pro 1. The new suit, however, Smart Suit uh, Rococo Smart Suit Pro 2 might be able to do it. Uh, it should be because it has multi-level support, or they call it multi-level ready. So I'm not really sure what that means. But you know, I haven't actually seen it, so I don't really know if it can. So anyway, um, that was just comparing the two uh, motion capture solutions uh, that I have, and. Um, would I recommend the Exxons? Hell yeah, if you can afford it. It's amazing. Would I recommend the Rococo? Yes and no. I mean, if you are, if you need something and you are restricted to the budget, then sure, I, w I would get it. But if you can afford the Exxons, I wouldn't spend my money on the Rococo. I love Rococo in the way I love their support. I love their, their social presence. They do a lot of good tutorials and videos and uh, webinars and things that are just amazing whereas Exxons is more like business to business oriented but i mean hardware and software wise Exxons beats the shit out of rococo that's just the way it is so uh in the next video i will go through uh, motion builder and uh, you know how i actually process this data onto a character in 3ds max